Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the British light like, middleweight champion. I was going to say world champion there, but that doesn't make any sense. Troy Williamson. Troy, just had the press conference there. Two days from fight night. How are you feeling? Feel good, um, confident, fit, strong, and I'm uh, ready to go. Mason Cartwright, he's, he's, there's a lot of respect up there uh, between the two of you, but like you said there, it's the hurt business and you're going in there to hurt, hurt you. There's a respect before the fight, I'm sure there'll be respect after the fight, but right now it's all business for you. Yeah, definitely, there's always respect uh, for me and my opponents before and after the fight, but when the bell goes and we're in that centre of the ring, uh, like I said, it's a hurt business and he's going to have to get hurt. You said as well, and I'm going to go back to the press conference, at 11 stone with 10 ounce gloves, if you catch them, they're going to know about it. Is that a, 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 a sort of like a statement made to say that you may be going there and hopefully get that stoppage again? I believe I'm the most dangerous man in, uh, in Europe at 11 stone. I'm massive for the weight. I punch really hard. I'm fit. I'm strong. I, I'm the full package. Um, yeah, if I, all I need to do is catch him uh, clean in a pair of 10 ounce gloves and, and it's, it's game over and I've got 12 ounce to do it. Uh, a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. I, I respect Mason, he's, he's a good fighter, very tough fighter, but like we know and, and the, the boxing fans know I, I don't need to go looking for Mason, he's going to be there in front of me, he's going to come and have a fight, so it'll play into my hands. That fight with Ted Cheeseman, obviously the Keenan Smith fight as well, but exciting fights, it doesn't seem like you're in a dull fight, can we expect much the same on Friday? Yeah, definitely, obviously, I always like to bring me, uh, I always like to, I always like to bring excitement for people that are paying the hard and money to, to come watch me box, so it's the least I could do. Probellum, let's talk about Simon Probellum. Uh, the platform you've got now in the North East, they, they've got you up in the press conference on your own. There's no, you're not on, like, on the undercard, just a little five minutes yourself, your own personal press conference with your opponent, um, you're fighting on Eurosport, you tell it to Arena, high up on the card, man. How, how happy are you with that? I'm over the moon, I'm over the moon that um, I'm just starting to get the recognition that I, I believe that I deserve. I should have had this years ago, but from my previous promoters obviously didn't give, didn't give me the chance obviously didn't have a, didn't have no belief in me so I'm, I'm glad that I've signed with Paul Willem now and they're going to elevate my career to the next level let me see if I can pull Sam Jones in again Sam are you free for a quick two minutes mate like I said I keep pulling you into these interviews mate but I want to get the Probellum side of things on how good these fighters are that you're signing it's, just, it's again an intent a statement that you've made against signing on somebody like Troy Williams and I mentioned the Keanu Smith fight exciting I mentioned the Ted Cheeseman fight exciting are we expecting much the same on uh, Friday? Yeah, 100%. I was very, very excited when, when, we was all, when we was all having talks and Troy came on board. Unbelievable performance last time. He doesn't really get the credit sometimes. I think people are going to start seeing the best of Troy now. He's unbelievable performance against Ted. Nobody really gave him a prayer in that fight. It was like one of the best fights I've ever seen, ringside at a fight. And Troy, you had, he had one round where I thought... Yeah, as Troy run out of steam and he literally got into second gear and, and, and he flattened Ted Cheeseman in like unbelievable style fight, fight of the year contender Troy's going to go through the, through the levels and I genuinely expect him to do that to, what, to most people Troy said himself oh sorry Troy speaking like you're not here but Troy said himself at that press conference said that he didn't get the recognition or didn't get the TV time didn't get this but we, 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 people that know Troy know the exciting fights he's in we know that he, what, what he brings to the table now that he's signed with yourselves in Probellum and, and the Eurosport and obviously the amount of stuff you, the shows you're bringing in the North East can this man headline a show can he go down to Middlesbrough you're from Troy can, he go, can we get down to Middlesbrough and get him headline a show down there is that how good this man can be there's absolutely no reason why not I mean Troy could have easily headlined this show mm -hmm. as I say but, but the, Pat McCormack's on there Lewis Ritson who's been headlining for years he's going to be up prime time slot on Eurosport Discovery Plus and people are going to see how good he is they really are going to see how good he is and he's going to come like he's come out of his show there Troy he's come out he, he's, he feels a bit aggrieved about how he was promoted last time but to be honest with you that's all irrelevant now it's about what's what's ha going to happen going forward and Troy's going Troy's to be in there with the best of him and let me tell you something now he can upset a lot of people like what he did against Ted Cheeseman keep expecting that from him he's he's uh, he's going to be the big favourite on Friday night but Troy's going to deliver in a big way Troy no pressure then with Sam Jones, you're going to deliver in a, in, a, in a big way. So what can the fans expect from you? Like I said to you, it's the British title. It means everything to, to British fighters. It means everything to me and Sam. We can't even fight for it. Do you know what I mean, that's how special this belt is. But for you, <laughs> uh, what can the fans expect from you uh, on Friday night? Then? The fans can just expect a lot of excitement and um, expect the, the referee to say, and still at the end of the night because that belt's going nowhere. 
Do you feel pressure as well? Like I said, I want to add one more question there. Do you feel any pressure when you, you, you hear Sam Jones talk about that you are on the radio, you're special, you can headline shows, you can go all the way? Do you feel any pressure when you hear somebody like Sam Jones say that about you? No, I don't feel no pressure whatsoever. The only pressure I have is the pressure that I put on myself because I've always said that I believe I'm the best suit well away in Europe and obviously I'm the most brutal and vicious champion there's ever been. There's no one that can match me. There's a, there's a Troy we want to see. That's a, listen, that's the perfect way to end this interview. Troy, thank you so much. As always, Sam, as always, thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers.